All right, I'm going to show you guys a super cool feature of YouTube Studio. I'm in my dashboard, and I'm just assuming you know how to do that. If you go to the left side and you go down to Audio Library, we can click on that. But before we do that, um, a lot of people have problems with copyright for music. Now, if you use Final Cut Pro, you can use the jingles and you can use the music that's in there. But once in a while, you get one of those copyright claims from somebody who's taken one of those and created something and then it's got a logarithm that like tags you. So that's kind of a pain in the butt. So here's a way not to have that happen and to have a bunch of music. So you just go to Audio Library, you open it up, and in here they have all of these different songs uh, that you can use. And if you look, you're going to see um, over here is the name of the song. Over here is the genre of the song, you know, like rock, pop, you know, electronic dance, classical, and so forth. And over here is the kind of mood that you're going to get from it. So if you're looking for something that's, you know, bright, you can, you know, hit this one up. Over here is the artist. And then over here is the duration and when it was added. So if you want to listen to it, um, you can, like, click on it and highlight it, right, like this. And then down here, it shows you a little line. Now if you want to unmute it, you just go like that. It's still playing. You can unmute it. And if you want to download it, you can click here. Or you can click here. Stop. All right, so that's a rock song, which I didn't really think it was that rocky. But um, let's check out, let's say, let's do a classical one. Wedding invitation. Not bad, huh? You can stop it here, or you can stop it here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you this action here. This will pop to the next track, or this will go to the previous track. So that's kind of a cool thing that you can do, right? Like if I want to go to the next track, which is locally sourced. Bam. That's kind of a cool song. Let's go to the next one. That's got a, it's got like a Caribbean feel to it. Check this one out. This is a Latin one. You hear that? That sounds good. Let's go to this happy extra steps. Sometimes it takes a while for him to play. Like this one's not playing at all. Let's press this button and see what happens. All right, well, you know, they have some glitches in here. <laughs> so, you know, what are you going to do? Let's go back to this one, right? For some reason, it doesn't want to let us go anywhere. We're kind of stuck in this. Let me uh, boot it here. All right, that, you know, I guess that's something you can do if you have a problem with it. You just come back up here and click it through. So I kind of got stuck on that. That was kind of a weird situation. But let's go ahead and let's go to uh, this, this get outside one. All right. Now if I pull down, what's going on here? By using the audio library, you agree to the YouTube audio library terms. Okay, yeah, we got it. And you can, you know, you can say I got it. And it gets rid of that. And that way um, we can get down to the bottom. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to this pop one right here. Pops it up on the bottom, right? But let's stop it for a second. All right, so we've, we've highlighted this. And so let's take a look at, at pop. If we click on here, you can filter by genre, right? And if you notice, when I clicked on it, it went up into this area here. So if I want it just to look at those songs, they would just pull up all the pop. Now, if you look here, you see all the pop that came up. So those are all pops. Now, if I want to get rid of that, I just click that, and it goes back to the uh, to the other ones. Now it's got all of them in there. So let's say if I went and I clicked on classic, right? Let's stop it. And then if I click here, it's going to fill all of this with classic music. See how it just filled it all classic. All right, let's go back. Let's get to get rid of it. You just come up here and hit this X up here as we move. Now let's go over here and let's go to romantic. 
Now all the romantic stuff came up, and you'll notice it's all romantic and mood. But over here, it's all different, you know, like here's one here, let's check this out. This is supposed to be a romantic <laughs> Okay, so that's cool. Now let's go and see if there's any other silent partners. Let's say maybe you like that. Let's get rid of romantic. Whoops, I got rid of it. <laughs> I got rid of that. So let's just look at this one here. Let's say if we wanted to listen to everything by Riot, I would click on here, and all of Riot stuff would come out. And then to get rid of it, you just go like that. And then if you're looking, you know, for the sound, uh, the duration here, it goes down here. It's uh, here's a three-minute one, and then it, I think we can do it by time. All right. So these are the real shorties. These are four-second ones, and then it moves forward by time. Now, if I go here again, it's going to bring the longest song. Here's a 17-minute song. So you've got all these different things you can do. Um, now let's go back to, let's switch it back to here. So let's say you want it to, let's play this one so you can just hear it. So that would be a good accent for uh, you know a dramatic point in a movie. That's mess call. Let's go back to here. So you're like, wow, I really like that. And uh, and you want to download it, let's say. For some reason, it just keeps going through them. Stop. All right, let's go back here. Let's say you want to download it. If you look right here, you can download the audio track. I'm going to click on that. And what it just did was it put it in my download file. So if I click here. Let's stop those. Stop it. All right. So I put it in my download file. So if I pull this up here, this right here, into the depths, is in my download file. But it's also over here. It should be inside of here. Recently added. Oh, I'm in movies. Let's go to music. And, um, all right, so, so now if I wanted to use this, this jingle that I got, I could just pull it here. Bam. Now, if I want to take and put it in Final Cut Pro, let's go ahead and open that up. And I wanted to put it, let's say, in here. Now I've got it in in a uh, um, in a project. See, <laughs> that's not. Yeah, you know, I'm just giving you a. I'm gonna delete it. So so that way you can use it. Um, I just pulled it onto the desktop, but you can also put it in in your uh, into um, in iTunes. So if we go here. See if I can just pull it in here. Oh, there it is. For some reason, it didn't. Um, it did not load it as it wrote, wrote it as Jingle Punks. So let's take a look at why that did that. Oh, it lo it didn't put the name of the song. It put the name of the artist in there. So it did. It does load it. So let's tr let's try another one. Let's do mess call. All right. So this should be in here. There it is. Yeah. You see that? I'll do it again. Bam. So so I'm basically loading my uh, iTunes up with a bunch of uh, free jingles. <laughs> so that's basically how you use that. And uh, if you aren't comfortable with this version of it, you can always go back to the old version, which is um, Creator Classic Studios version. And it's still there. Here's sound effects. Let's see if that sound effect is in there. Nope, it's not in there. But they have a bunch of, you know, these are the, these should be in 
in the new version somewhere. But um, let's look at the free music. Let's go by duration. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's in this version of it. But anyway, if you want to go back, I mean, you can do the same thing. You can uh, um, you can download it, these two. I don't know how long this is going to be here. I'm sure it's going to be gone soon, and you'll only be able to use the others. Let's go back. And now we're back in here, and if you want to get back into uh, to the, the new version of Audio Library, you can get into it. Um, let's see if... Uh, Search. You can search for a specific thing, a track title, a genre, a mood, artist name, the duration, and attribution not required. I don't know what that means. But <laughs> um, and if you want to send them some feedback right here, settings. I don't know if we need to put anything in settings. Oh, here it is. Terms and conditions. Let's take a look at that. All right. Your use of this music library, including the music files in this library, is subject to the YouTube Terms and Service. The music from this library is intended solely for you to use in videos and other content that you create. You may use music files from this library in videos that you monetize on YouTube. That's good. That's what we want. By downloading the music from this library, you agree to the following. You may not make available distribution or perform the music files from this library separately from videos and other content into which you have incorporated these music files. E.g., standalone distribution of these files is not permitted. So you can't take them off of here and sell them to somebody. You may not use music files from the library in an illegal manner or in connection with any illegal content. So, you know, I don't know how you'd break the law by using music, but you agree to comply to these requirements when you use the music from this library. Learn more about the YouTube library. So if you click here, we can learn more. And... Um, it has all the information you need to know. Only songs from the official YouTube library are known to YouTube to be copyright safe. All right, so anyway, um, that's pretty much that. And if you want to read through all this, you know, you can. I'm just showing you where you can get it at. Now we hit got it and we're back and that's it. All right, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos on how to do stuff in YouTube. Peace out.